Hi everyone! So I am super pumped about this video in particular. It's one that I've wanted to film for a very long time and easily the most requested video I have gotten in a while. I am reviewing my Chanel Classic Flap Jumbo with Gold Hardware. I am so loving this bag. Getting this bag was a huge milestone for me. Before I get into this video, as always, please go ahead and subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to hit the little bell as well next to the subscribe button so you don't miss anything here on my YouTube channel. All right, my Chanel. So I have wanted a Chanel classic flat bag for as long as I can remember. And frankly, it was just always completely out of range for me. I will admit to you guys that while I did look pre-loved at some options, it really meant a lot to me to get this bag brand new. It is my holy grail bag, like forget the Hermes Kelly or the Hermes Birkin, the Chanel Classic Flap was always tops for me. And yeah, it just really meant a lot to me to prove to myself that I could buy it on my own brand new. While I do entertain buying pre-loved bags, I hate when I get one that smells like the last person or is a little bit nicked or just looks a little rough. I mean, the bags cost so much these days that I want it to be perfect when I get it. I am not knocking anybody who gets pre-loved bags, but yeah, it was really important to me to get this brand new. So in this video, I will go through why I personally bought this bag how it differs from the vintage version, its dimensions, why I chose this particular leather and hardware, and what fits in the bag. So yeah, grab a cup of tea, let's settle in, and let's talk all about the Chanel Jumbo. So I've spoken about this here on YouTube before. I write goals every four months and I put them somewhere that I can see them every single day. That is a great way for me to hit my goals and keep me on track. One of the goals that I have had on my goal list for years now was to get this beautiful Chanel bag, but I could just never justify the price. Last year when I hit 40,000 Instagram followers, I decided to go ahead and treat myself to the bag. But that was during the pandemic and frankly coming across a Chanel classic flap of any size was near impossible. Like I guess maybe production was lower or people were raid shopping because of the pandemic, but this bag was not easy to find. I called boutiques in Montreal, Toronto, Vancouver, and they just didn't have it. I also feel that unless you have a dedicated essay and a history at the Chanel boutique, they just sort of ignore people when they call looking for bags. So yeah, I had a really hard time getting this. It was a little heart-wrenching because I really, well, it was heart-wrenching because I actually wanted to go into the boutique and have that full Chanel experience of, you know, being handed a glass of champagne while they wrap up my beautiful bag and walk out of the store with a gorgeous shopping bag, whole nine yards, but COVID. So I, Finally, well actually I sucked it up and I called my friend who is the head of visual merchandising at Chanel and she managed to find me this bag in like 10 minutes flat. So God bless your heart, you know who you are. <laughs> Anyways, I actually really wanted this bag in the medium size, which is a bit smaller than the jumbo. I also wanted the smooth lambskin leather, but there, there, it just didn't exist in Canada. It was just totally sold out. So I went ahead, I sucked it up, and I bought this one, and I'm so glad I did. So something a little heartbreaking about this bag is the first time I tried the bag on and was gonna buy it, I think it cost $4,100. I am a little sick at how much I paid for this bag. Like, I still cannot believe how much I paid for this bag, but it was literally, back then, I bought this, you know, forgive me, um, I bought this because it was my birthday. I bought this for my 43rd birthday. I also had hit 40,000 Instagram followers last year, so it was like sort of like a combined gift. I don't usually like sharing how much I pay for these bags, but this is sort of an informational video for you guys. I'll let you know how much I paid for it. It was $9,400 Canadian. I still feel sick at that, but 
again it was now or never the price was not getting any lower in fact it's increased quite a bit i think it's now over ten thousand seven hundred dollars and i just can't i just couldn't justify that so yeah when my friend found one for me i bit the bullet and i bought it so again i got this bag in the beautiful caviar leather i actually quite like the caviar leather um, I'm glad I got this because it's really durable. Caviar is thicker. It is that bumpy leather. You see that? It literally looks like caviar. And um, that really protects it from nicks and scratches. Now, you know, this is a pretty fine leather. It will still scratch. You know, you don't want to go scratching at it with your fingernails or keys or anything like that. But yeah, it is quite a bit more durable than the lambskin. Personally, I prefer the lambskin, the smooth lambskin, because personally, I prefer the lambskin because I think it's just richer and more luxurious looking. But again, I, I, I just couldn't find one in Canada. They were not available in black. The gold hardware was a non-negotiable for me as well. I love gold. Well, I love any precious metal, but I really like the look of the gold hardware on both the chain strap and the, you know, iconic CCs. Okay, so I'm just on the Chanel website right now, uh, the Canadian version, and this bag is now $10,325. Back in December, I paid $9,400 for it. So it, the bag is just going up so much, so fast. So the measurements of this bag. This bag is 7.7 .7 inches high. It is also, let's see here, 11.8 inches long. And it is 3.9 inches deep. She's a heavy bag you know the the caviar leather is pretty substantial and I will say that I thought the chain strap would hurt but it doesn't so you can see here it's kind of flat so it sits on the shoulder quite well without digging in so the Chanel jumbo comes with a little pocket on the back and I normally put my phone in the back just like so there we go. I love it for that. Um, getting in and out of the bag as well is not annoying. A lot of people have asked me about that. This is the Chanel double flap jumbo. So I just, you just open it like so, and there you go. So it's got the pocket right here. It's a zippered pocket. I've never used it. Maybe I'll put a love letter in there that Ryan's given me. And there's the double flap. So the inside of the bag is a beautiful burgundy leather. You have got the little Chanel in gold writing. Let me see. Sorry, I've got some stuff in here. <laughs> There's my glasses. So in addition to the double flap, you've got another pocket right here. This one's a bit more deep, let's say, than the back. I put my phone in there sometimes, but not normally. I'll put receipts or something in there. And then there is the interior of the bag. So you've got two more pockets right there and a little compartment if you want to put a lipstick in there. Something I find a tad annoying about the bag is you've got this little snap here to fasten the double flap. I can never actually get it closed, so I just I just leave it. I never fasten the flap part, and it just makes it easier to get in and out of the bag. And there is one more compartment here. You can slip things in there. I, I don't want to put my ring, scratch my ring, but there. So, you, I don't know, you could put... Uh, whatever you wish in there I suppose but it's pretty skinny like I could see letters going in there or like a small thin notebook so on and so forth what kills me about Chanel and I think personally is a little wrong is vintage versions of Chanel bags actually were 24 karat gold um, I don't think it was solid gold it was probably gold plated I'll look that up but yeah and see you know the quality of the leather the quality of the craftsmanship coupled with the 24 karat gold to me that commands the hefty price but now it's no longer gold it's not most certainly not gold plated either so 
I, I don't know how they justify the constant intense price increases, but you know, so be it. So before I get into what actually fits in this bag, I wanted to let you guys know how long the strap drop is. So when you put it on your shoulder, how long it um, falls, it's so like that. So it hangs 13 inches long off your shoulder. That is 33 centimeters for my Canadian friends. Okay, so yeah, I feel like I'm, I'm relatively tall at five foot seven. And I feel that's like, that's a perfect length on somebody like me. I wouldn't wear this crossbody or just like a single strap, you know, because I just feel it, it just looks kind of weird. Maybe if you're much taller, you can pull that off. But um, yeah, I believe you can do so very nicely with the medium and small size. What's in my Chanel Classic Jumbo? I'm just gonna open it up here, give you guys a good look. So I've got her pretty packed. I don't know if you can see that, I'll take out everything for you. I will say, before I get into that, this bag is so functional. And when I got it, um, I thought I would baby her and frankly never use her but I reach for this bag a lot. And thank God, you know, it costs a lot of money. You might as well use it as much as possible. She's pretty hardy and like I said, really functional. She holds so much and because it's such a classic shape and look, it just looks good with everything. It's my favorite bag. I love her so much. So what do I have in here? Okay, so I put the camera a little further away. I just wanna show you guys what I have in my Chanel Classic Jumbo. So I don't have anything in any of the pockets, really. I even took my phone out of the back. So I have my glasses. Just show you. Everybody wants to know what I look like in my glasses. Nutty librarian. I have my Celine sunglasses. I take all of my sunglasses out of their like branded um, cases because they're always so big. And I put it in one of these little soft bags. I stole this one from my husband. Love these. I love the red. I think it's just a nice little pop of color that's not like overly like crazy or anything. I would recommend anybody get these soft cases because I don't like throwing my sunglasses into my bag because like I carry so much stuff that can scratch them. So those soft cases are really great and you can clean your cases with them. I have got my um, Louis Vuitton key holder in there. I have my Chanel wallet and it's matching the um, bag. So it is gold hardware, caviar skin, Love the wallets for, they also have that burgundy inside. I love this wallet. I know cash is going the way of the dodo bird, but I love a good wallet. Dodo bird, how old am I? I have my Louis Vuitton. This is monogram leather. I forgot what that leather is called, actually what that line is called. This is a business card holder, but I actually use it as, you know, just like a, a holder for my credit cards and, and, uh, some cash. I have my phone, which I'm getting a new phone. I can't wait. This is the eight plus and she's starting to get a little sluggish and useless. I have two compacts cause I'm extra. I've got my um, Charlotte Tilbury. This is the airbrush flawless finish compact in number three dark. That is such a solid compact by the way. I use this to just tamper down the shine in the summer like this one because it doesn't make your skin look too cakey. I also have my Guerlain Terracotta Bronzer Compact. Love that. This is the number five Moyen Brunette. And really like that because you can take down sh the shine of your face in the summer, but it has a subtle hint of shimmer. I don't know if you can see the shimmer in that, but I love Guerlain. That is the back if you want to try it out. So that wraps up my review on my baby. So if anyone cares to know, I bought this Chanel Classic Jumbo at the Holt Renfrew in Toronto. They have a Chanel boutique within it. The service was fantastic. Like I said, I had to pay for it over the phone and then they went ahead and shipped it to me. Service was incredible. I'll just show you guys here. 
they shipped me this giant box. This is the bag that it came in. I, I couldn't bear to part with it. And it came, this is the box. And it came with a fabulous book on Chanel. And um, here we go. There is the book and receipt holder. It was really, really nice. It was wrapped up beautifully. I'll open up the box, let me see. Like anything I get at Chanel, like I keep everything because it's just so nice. Here's the uh, camellia and the, um, the ribbon that it comes in. I mean, fabulous. So yeah, my Chanel experience was really, really fantastic. So sorry, I think I'm gonna wrap up this video here. If you have any questions on the Chanel bag, my Chanel experience in the store, so on and so forth, please uh, leave them in the comments or send me a DM. Um, I would be happy to answer them for you. And on that note, let me know in the comments if you would like me to review my newest Chanel bag. <laughs> I must be stopped. Like, I am a woman possessed. I am like, I'm. once you go Chanel, you don't go back. <laughs> Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Let's keep on normalizing black luxury. Us black women, we work so, so hard. We are more than deserving of nice things. If you care to do so, please follow me on Instagram. I am at dominique.baker. And uh, go ahead and check out my blog, styledomination.com. And your girl is on TikTok doing the dump dances, doing the whole thing. You can find me at Dominique Baker Official. I would love it if you followed me there. I just hit 30,000 TikTok followers. God, God is good. <laughs> Anyways, I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching. And I will see you in the next video. Mm.